Okay, so today we're gonna talk about uh, shared mailbox and the difference to add a shared mailbox as a auto mapping function, full access, and no auto mapping uh, function. So, for example, this is my out test outlook. This is my shared mailbox. It's added here as an auto mapped uh, shared mailbox. I just gave the permission on um, on on the admi admin center. I can show you where and how. So it's uh, here. So this is the shared mailbox. You just come here and you delegate and you add full permission on the, sorry about this. You just go to your shared mailbox delegation and you add full permission and this way it's going to be auto mapped it's going to appear automatically on the, the outlook but if you don't want for that to to happen you have to re to give the full access access without the the um, auto map function so for that we're going to create a new one Or we will call share no map and share shared no map and here we will gonna select this one create. Okay, we have our shared mailbox, it's created. Now, to give this permission, we will need PowerShell. To connect PowerShell, I will go through the explanation as well, so you stay with that uh, explanation. So for start, we will need, okay, if it is your first time login, you will need this one. I will add it. I need to run as administrator, wait a little bit. Can I run as administrator? Yes. Okay. Now it goes. And after that, you will need to import the model. Change online. Okay, then you need to connect. Give me just a moment, I'm doing the login. It's just gonna take a little bit. Okay, there you go. We are connected. OK, 
and to verify if we are connected you can do like a simple get mailbox and see if it uh, returns uh, your mailboxes in this case uh, yes so it's all right we have our shared that we just created and now to give the access I will share the command just a second okay, so this is gonna be our this is our command so it's got we are gonna give permission to our shared no map for the user in this case it's going to be admin admin it's this guy here let's put the full we'll put the full the full email address so I know for sure that it's gonna get the right one. Okay, and it's a full access permission and auto map false. So it's not gonna auto map on the on the Outlook. So after that, how do we? How can we verify? right away if the permission is applied or not we can um, we can go grab the mailbox in this case is this one let's go with the email address sorry about that okay so to verify if the permission is good, we can open Outlook on the web. This is the admin, so it's uh, all right. It's this one that have the permission. And we go and open, open another mailbox. We paste here and we see if it opens. If it opens like this, the permission was applied and it's good. Now, after this, we come to Outlook. We see that we don't have the other shared mailbox here. It was not um, was not auto mapped here, but we want to access. So we come to File. We go to Account Settings and Account Settings. We select our profile. We're gonna go to Change. We're gonna go to More Settings, Advanced, and here. We will add the Sherman box, no auto map. Okay, if we select this, it's gonna download cache mode for this shared mailbox. If we don't select, it's gonna be full online and the access is gonna be full online. It's gonna be a little bit more slow, but um, but you don't have storage use on your computer. So if you select, it's gonna um, download the information from here according to what you have defined on your cache mode in your uh, in your uh, profile here. Apply, it's given okay. Uh, this is a uh, okay, done. And close. And there you go, you have your shared mailbox here. This shared mailbox, it's the one that we just created. Um, we can add this this way or we can add this as a secondary exchange mailbox with the same credentials of the, the principal user. So this way we have only one OST file and all of the information it's stored on local computer on the same file. I can show you. If you go to here, 
and if you go to data files this is the only data file that we have on our computer inside this data file it's going to be the emails of my primary mailbox as well my shared mailboxes if I don't want these like this if I want them to have a different um, storage place for them I can use it let's remove from here yes apply okay it's gone as you can see it's no no more there and we can add it as a secondary shared mailbox so we come here we put no shared okay connect and on this step we will gonna sign in as admin because we don't have password for shared mailboxes and we add it as admin here we use our password take it this way just a second 16 Right, it validated that have access. It's perfect. And for this to to take um, into account, we have to restart Outlook. So let's restart Outlook. Okay, after restart Outlook. There she is, our shared mailbox is added as a secondary mailbox and if we go, it's doing a set up in a, a local uh, copy, that's all right. If you go here and here, we can see that we have the two mailboxes added as an exchange mailbox and on data file we have two data files. This way we can control different uh, cache modes like for example here I can say that I just want one month downloaded the rest stays on the on the server and just go and apply and here we will keep with one year or two years or five years or whatever we like so we can define different um, different types of cache mode and as well we have more features that we can manage as for example rules we can have rules here that we cannot have if it's not done like this so we can manage rules for one or other if it's not exchange added we just have rules for admin and we cannot manage rules for for that one for example it's one of the difference so uh, I hope I can help you guys with these uh, configurations and how it works, different types of shared mailbox or, or how to add different types of shared mailbox. If you notice here, we don't have this shared mailbox that was auto mapped. Okay, so we have two shared mailbox. This one, we don't have rules as you can see here. Even if I select and go to rules, it doesn't appear here only the two ones that are exchange mailboxes that's it guys so i hope you enjoy and i hope i could um, clarify some doubts if you have any questions just leave the comments on the um, on the comment section and i hope i see you soon